in 2013, in 2013, you led the National League in with 46 stolen bases. Mm-hmm. That's correct. Um, what do you what do you look for when you're trying to steal a base, like off a pitcher or a catcher or something that you know kids can use? Obviously, I know I know speed helps, but it's not just about being fast. I know a lot of fast guys that weren't able to steal bases. So, what is what is something you're looking for when you're looking to steal a base? Uh, well, first of all, you're usually always stealing off the pitcher. Uh, catchers, you know, it don't even matter if they have good arms. If, you know, you get a good jump off the pitcher, you know, more times than not, the catchers have, you know, not going to be able to throw you out. Uh, sometimes the catcher might set up a way where you can see if they're throwing a fastball, breaking ball. Um, if you can see that early, that's great. But more times than not, every pitcher does something uh, that, that tips, you know, that that's what I call the tips or keys that uh, they're going to pitch to the plate. Um, you know, obviously you're taught at an early age, pitchers are taught at an early age to find a rhythm, find a mechanic and, and go with it. And that works best with them. So if you can find out what their rhythm is or, or what their mechanic is to get them ready to throw, uh, if you can see that, you know, in your lead on, on the bases, that gives you the advantage to try to try to steal a base. Uh, sometimes it, it can be with their legs, their lower body kind of does a rock back before they pitch. Sometimes a shoulder twist before they throw. Uh, sometimes their hand, the elbows separate before they throw. Uh, it could be anything. So, but you just kind of watch the pitch while you're on on deck or while you're in the dugout, just watching them warm up to see what they do every time. They, they're going to do something that every time before they throw it home. Uh, but again, you're not just in the dugout, you know, clowning around, joking around. You're actually still looking at the pitcher while they're warming up, and, and that is that's mental practice, you know, with a purpose. You're like, okay, what's he doing? That's going to let me know that he's going to pitch. And if you're paying attention, they'll give you something. <laughs> What do you look for when you're trying to steal a base? I know speed helps, but it's not just about being fast. I know a lot of fast guys that weren't able to steal bases. So what is, what is something you're looking for when you're looking to steal a base? Uh, well, first of all, you're usually always stealing off the pitcher. Uh, catchers, you know, it don't even matter if they have good arms. If, you know, you get a good jump off the pitcher, you know, more times than not, the catchers have, you know, not going to be able to throw you out. Uh, sometimes the catcher might set up a way where you can see if they're throwing a fastball, breaking ball. Um, if, if you can see that early, that's great. But more times than not, every pitcher does something uh, that that tips. You know that that's what I call the tips or keys that uh, they're going to pitch to the plate. Um, you know, obviously you're taught at an early age. Pitchers are taught at an early age to find a rhythm, find a mechanic and go with it and that works best with them. So if you can find out what their rhythm is or, or what their mechanic is to get them ready to throw, uh, if you can see that, you know, in your lead on, on the bases, that gives you the advantage to try to try to steal a base. Uh, sometimes it, it can be with their legs, their lower body kind of does a rock back before they pitch. Sometimes a shoulder twist before they throw. Uh, sometimes their hand, the elbows separate before they throw. Uh, it can be anything. So- Watch the pitch while you're on, on deck or while you're in the dugout, just watching them warm up to see what they do every time. They, they're going to do something that every time before they throw it home. Uh, but again, you're not just in the dugout, you know, clowning around, joking around. You're actually still looking at the pitcher while they're warming up. And, and, and that is that's mental practice, you know, with a purpose. You're like, okay, what's he doing? That's going to let me know that he's going to pitch. And if you're paying attention, they'll give you something. Can you think of like one or two ways that where people might be able to increase their speed a little bit? I think the key for people increasing their speed is just being more explosive with their first step. I think a lot of times people just, you know, are either lazy or or not explosive on their first step. And then they think they're slow, uh, which is not the case more times than not. It's, you know, they just need to be more explosive on that first step. Uh, You know, a hurdle drill, um, you know, just trying to get, getting out the blocks, uh, see see what track runners do they do to get out the blocks. you know, because it's usually safe and out call is usually made up from that first step. Right, right. So just getting up to top speed as quickly as you can, right, trying to get. Yep, exactly. Right. So now, I, I want to know what was your fastest sixty yard dash time? 
Uh, this is when I was in college, and I ran a six three six. And uh, even yeah, even I felt like I was flying that day. Which uh, when they finally told me the, the time, I, I couldn't believe it at first. But then two different people showed me uh, that it was around similar time, and uh, I was like, man, I felt like I was moving that day, and uh, the legs weren't really feeling like they was touching the ground too too much. But I was in top speed really quick. I met this this guy. I think he was a catcher, I want to say. And he said he was paired up with you in maybe like the area code tryouts or one of one of those for like the 60. And I remember him telling me, he's like, man, I think I lost by like a second in the 60. With, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know if that was true or not, but I remember hearing that and thinking, you know what, if you ran a 6-3, like there's probably a good chance one of those catchers lost by a second. So... 